at the garage. I was hoping to get it running for a couple of months until I put a proper ECU on it. It's got the mega squirt in at the moment and uh, yeah, it was wired in wrong. Decided to go for an EMU, ECU. My friend Mike is already running his on his A4. So he's already got plenty of experience splicing it in. The idea was to get it running and upgrade the ECU in a couple of months time, but um, even that's not gonna work. The fuel line down there was actually crimped because it's just a plastic one. So now we've got the proper connectors on there. Walbro 255 is now in. So looking forward to getting it up and running, relays inside. So it's just the final bits and pieces now to get it on the road. So Tom's on his way over now with the truck. Really, really good lad for getting stuff from one place to another. Covers the whole of the UK. Pumping all the old crap fuel out. Lovely. Crimper rather than just turning wires and tape. The Mega Square ECU is no more. We've took it out because it wouldn't connect to the computer properly. There's also a few short circuits on the loom that we found. So we're ripping the whole loom out and we are starting again. Um, there was even a short up here. You see here's a bit of tape. This cost me 99p on eBay. Such an inexpensive thing to, to avoid trouble really. Um, so this will be going in there. We've got an EMU one, which Mike is using on his car here. Absolute beast. There you go, you can see the coating I've put on the manifold. The alloy catch can. 80 to 100 mil reducer. And now we're testing the fuel pump, so. Bit of a delay, but um, it's finally here. The EMU or EMU management system. A picture of an EMU, so it must be good. Got a pre-terminated harness here. A little bit extra, but well worth it. Much easier to plug it all in and get it all set up. So here it is, stickers if you're into that sort of thing, nice handy flash card, everything on there. The van will be on the road very soon, it's next week we're booked in for mapping, so yeah, cool. So I've come for the R8 call packs, Mike's got two spare so he's given those to me and uh, I've bought another two to go with it and the push fit adapters, these were £8 uh, from Awesome GTI so that's brilliant really. You can pay some places £150 for the set with the bolt down and everything else but the push fit's absolutely fine. The core packs that are on the van are pretty old and do look past it so I wouldn't expect them to be as efficient as I would like. So I wanted to make sure I get a new set of coils on there, certainly more modern ones to give me a better spark. Let's give it a little go then, shall we? These are the fuel rail spaces for the uh, Siemens Decker injectors, so we're just going to put these on now and get the injectors on. Oh, now they're in. Six thirties are now on, so this should make a big difference to the fuel. Perfect. And that's how it should have been done the first time. 